All right, so everyone's talking about this new chat GPT, the chatbot. It's great and the potential is really huge, but I had a question. How useful can it be in the medical field? Can I use it at the hospital? So as a medical doctor and a programmer who previously worked on some AI projects, I was very curious to use it. I tried it in the hospital for the past month and here is what you should know. First, for those who don't know yet what is ChatGPT, it is an AI designed chatbot that can literally answer anything you want and can make wonders. If you already know what it is, just skip this part. I will show you some examples. For example, if I ask ChatGPT, what is the best way to lose weight? Another example, how can I convince my boss that I am sick? And here is a very nice answer. It can write essays, poems, contracts, literally anything. Write me a poem in Shakespeare tone about atrial fibrillation. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? This is why I ask myself, how reliable can it be in the medical field? Can I use it? Well, the short answer is yes and no. I will answer why. The first and the best advantage is it is very fast and quick to give you an answer. Don't worry, I didn't rely on it to treat my patients. I was only testing the info that it can give me. Here's an example. What is the first line treatment for rate control in atrial fibrillation? And this answer was given in few seconds. And I can confirm it is somehow accurate. The second advantage that I have found it can facilitate all the reading you have to do to get certain information. Instead of reading many articles to get a final answer, ChatGPT can do that for you. ChatGPT summarizes many articles and gives you the conclusion quickly. So usually the process is, whenever I have a medical question, I look up for at least a dozen of articles and come up with a conclusion in order to make a medical decision. And this takes some time. But ChatGPT does this work in a split of a second and gives you the final answer. A third advantage that I have found that this technology understands human language. It can understand our way of communicating. You don't have to give it a programmable input. You just talk to it as if you're taking a second opinion of one of your colleagues. And even if you make a small type of mistake, it can still understand. And this is because it relies on something called NLP, Natural Language Processing. It's pretty amazing because any professional healthcare worker or any doctor can make use of this technology without even being trained how to use it. You don't need any skills. But like everything in life, all of this comes at a price. Some things that got me worried while using it is that some info and data are outdated. And this is one of the cited limitations of the ChatGPT on their website, that all the data is gathered before 2021. And in medicine, as a lot of you already know, this is a changing field. Every day we have new studies, we have new data, we cannot rely on old, outdated data. So definitely you are missing on a lot if you are solely relying on the data provided by this chatbot. The second limitation is that I couldn't know exactly what are the articles that the ChatGPT relied on to gather this information. And why this is very important, because even if it is a medical article from a well-known medical journal, we as doctors sometimes we don't agree, we don't take it for granted, we have our own point of view, we don't follow blindly. There's something called critical appraisal we do for every research article before adopting its data and the conclusion it has to offer. So with ChatGPT, we don't have access to this kind of analysis. We don't have access to the article that the bot itself made the conclusion on. And this is dangerous because we are dealing with real patients. We are making clinical decisions based on the answers of the chatbot. So this was definitely a no-no to me. A third disadvantage is that a lot of data can be subject to bias or errors. And the problem is that you cannot go back to the source and verify that. ChatGPT is trained on a large amount of data and this can be the source of some bias and inaccuracies. So professional workers should always verify the information gathered and try to compare it to some other standards that we follow. Another drawback that I thought about is that it can make our doctor's brain a bit lazy with time. Since we will tend to rely solely on this technology and taking this easy access and shortcut, it might make us lose with time a bit our critical thinking and creative approach to the patient. Maybe, I don't know. So in summary, yes, ChatGPT can be a great tool and can have a huge potential in the medical field, definitely. It can help every healthcare professional in their day-to-day -day work, and especially useful in point of care where you have to make a quick decision in front of the patient if you have no other choices. But this comes at a price. But this is so important for the future. I think creating a medically oriented AI chatbot can have a great impact on the medical field. It can improve the healthcare system all in all if engineered in a safe way. And yeah, if you like such content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.